protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, as we covered on Sunday, pictures emerged of a massive army of migrants marching through Europe. As you can see from these pictures, these are thousands of immigrants who are marching through Slovenia. Of course, they're on their way to the pot of gold in Germany and Sweden for anyone that wants that can make it to those welfare states. They point out that they formed a single column as they crossed into the country from Croatia. And Slovenia's prime minister warned that the EU will break up if leaders cannot agree on how to deal with this crisis. This occurred nine days after Hungary sealed their border. Once they sealed their southern border, the immigrants just went to a different path. They went around that uh, Hungarian border. Now they're going through Slovenia, then through Croatia and into Germany and Sweden. That's precisely what we said. If you build a fence, that's not going to stop it as long as you have this incentive, this pot of gold that is being offered by countries like Germany, by Sweden, with their entitlement welfare system. The prime minister of Slovenia said, if we don't find a solution today, if we don't do everything we can, then it is the end of the European Union as such. If we don't deliver concrete action, I believe Europe will start to fall apart. And they point out that since October 17th, more than 62,000 migrants have arrived in the tiny country of Slovenia, with some 14,000 still passing through the country that day alone, as you can see as part of that army. So what is the reaction to this? Well, as WND points out, the Islamic invasion is pulling a trigger. Europe is now scrambling for guns. They say Austrians are arming themselves at record rates in an effort to defend their households against feared attacks from Muslim invaders. And this is not theoretical. We're going to talk about what's going on with rapes in Sweden. They say tens of thousands of Muslim refugees have poured into Austria from Hungary and Slovenia. And of course, they're on their way to Germany and Sweden. Obtaining a working firearm and ammunition in Germany, Britain, Denmark, or the Netherlands is practically impossible for the average citizen. But the laws in Austria, while still strict, are a bit less overbearing, they report. A Czech TV report confirms that long guns, that is shotguns and rifles, have been flying off the shelves in Austria, and Austrians who already haven't purchased a gun may not be able to get one because they are all sold out. And guess what? The people who are primarily buying the guns are women. Guns are the equalizer if you have to get into a fight. You don't want to depend upon your ability to fight someone who is larger than you, or you don't want to have to fight them if they've got a, a knife. He cites the Austrian news outlet Tiroler Tageszeitung as a source of his report, but we've also had reports from people who have traveled to the area, like Alan Gottlieb, executive vice president of the Second Amendment Foundation. He said, I just returned from a gun rights meeting in Belgium. I can attest that all over Europe, people now want the means to defend themselves, he told WND. He said, self-defense is no longer a dirty word. In countries like Austria, where it's still legal to own a firearm, Gun sales are at record levels. I can tell you firsthand that the people in Europe now wish they had the Second Amendment. They hear the same thing from Larry Pratt, director of Gun Owners of America. And he said, Polish King John Sobieski defeated the Muslim invaders at the gates of Vienna in 1683. Another Muslim invasion is underway. Austrians are alarmed, and that's what's happening in the gun stores. Our article on Infowars.com from Kit Daniels points out that it's the Austrian women who are buying up the guns as migrant rapists are invading the country. He points out that the Austrian women are also buying up pepper spray in record numbers, further highlighting their fear of being attacked and raped by thousands of migrants flooding into the country from the Middle East and other areas. That is a well-grounded fear. Look at what's going on in Sweden, the ultimate destination for many of these migrant workers. Not workers, but uh, migrant Muslims. They say Sweden is now number two on the global list of rape countries. According to a survey from 2010, Sweden is now number two on the global list of rape countries. Of course, that's the destination for the Muslim migrants. They say the epidemic is so bad that the leftist German media was even helping police cover up rapes committed by Muslim migrants at a concern they would legitimize critics of Germany's open border policy. Well, John Bound has a report on Europeans and how they wish they had a Second Amendment. And I'll vote for the ban because saving the lives of police officers, young and old, and innocent civilians, young and old, is more important than preventing imagined tyranny. A well-regulated militia 
being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution, adopted on December 15, 1791. The law was based on the 1689 English Bill of Rights, traced back to John Locke, Enlightenment philosopher and the father of classical liberalism. Sir William Blackstone, 18th century judge and politician, described this right as an auxiliary right, supporting the natural rights of self-defense, resistance to oppression, and the civic duty to act in concert in defense of the state. How is it that these basic human rights aren't recognized in the 21st century? WorldNet Daily reports, Obtaining a working firearm and ammunition in Germany, Britain, Denmark, and the Netherlands is practically impossible for the average citizen. Germany, for instance, requires a psychological evaluation, the purchase of liability insurance, and verifiable compliance with strict firearm storage and safety rules. And self-defense is not even a valid reason to purchase a gun in these countries. But in Austria, guns are flying off of the shelves, and the majority of buyers are women. Women fearing for their lives and the very real danger of being raped. European women are being terrorized. Sweden is the undisputed rape capital of Europe, but refuses to even address the epidemic. CBN reports, recent police statistics show that in the capital city of Oslo, Norway, 100% of assault rapes between strangers were committed by immigrant non-Western males, and 9 out of 10 of their victims were native Norwegian women. To protect themselves, some blonde Norwegian women have reportedly begun dyeing their hair black, and many travel in groups. In Germany and England, a rape epidemic of thousands of young European girls is quietly underway by hordes of Muslim gangs as the New World Order puppets drop the blame on the very people being victimized citing Islamophobia as an excuse, an excuse that can only hide the truth for so long. WorldNet Daily reports, Alan Gottlieb, executive vice president of the Second Amendment Foundation, said he recently returned from a gun rights event in Europe, where he sensed a change in attitude toward firearms. I just returned from a gun rights meeting in Belgium, and I can attest that all over Europe, people now want the means to defend themselves, Gottlieb told WorldNet Daily. Self-defense is no longer a dirty word. In countries like Austria, where it is still legal to own a firearm, gun sales are at record levels. I can tell you firsthand that people in Europe now wish they had a second amendment. New World Order pawn Angela Merkel of Germany has led Europe on a collision course with an inevitable destiny, where Europe is handed over to the fleeing masses streaming into small European towns from Africa and the Middle East. In Africa and the Middle East, birth rates are exploding while Europe's birth rates diminish. We aren't witnessing a compassionate migration. What we are observing and experiencing worldwide is a coordinated shift away from developed countries operated by republics where human rights and freedom are encouraged to a third world hell pit of Sharia caliphates naively controlled by a small elitist totalitarian monarchy. For all the bleeding hearts out there, ask yourselves, why would the leaders of these nations open their countries to waves of immigrants? while reducing the welfare of their own citizens to a living hell, where even the right to defend yourself is null and void. John Bound for Infowars.com. And of course, it's not just their fear for their safety. A recent report by RT says four in 10 Danish Muslims want the Quran to be used in Denmark's laws. They say almost 40% of Danish Muslims would like to see the country's laws based partly on the Quran. The survey found that over 10% of Muslims asked, uh, said that the Danish law should be solely, solely based on the Quran, while another one quarter believe the country's legislation should be a mixture of the Quran and secular uh, laws that they have in place. A recent survey also found that 77% of Danish Muslims believe the Quran should be followed completely, a 15% rise from when the same poll was conducted in 2006. This is the class of cultures. And remember, it wasn't that long ago that Ben Carson was excoriated by the press because he was concerned about the rise of Islamic law, Sharia law, if we had a Muslim president or somebody who supported that uh, very strongly. This is going to break down into a war between the 
middle class of Europe and this rising migrant population. This article from Infowars.com today, middle class becoming radicalized and backlash against migrant influx warns German security experts. A letter obtained by a German newspaper, Die Welt, written by top security experts, warns the middle class in Germany is becoming radicalized. In other words, they're angry about this. They say the high influx of people from other parts of the world will lead to instability and the German security authorities are not and will not be able to fend off these imported vulnerabilities and the reactions they trigger among the German population. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.